this is gonna be Arch Linux and we're gonna install it in two minutes. 120 seconds. And what well, you might be thinking, wait a second, what do you mean install? Like I'm talking from the installation to the time we have a functional desktop. This is gonna theme out the bootloader. We're gonna just install base packages, nothing fancy, but we want just a functional Linux system at the end of it. Now, doesn't necessarily mean a desktop system because Linux desktops can look a whole bunch of different ways. I could tweak the script to use like a window manager and get it done, probably add on another 15 to 20 seconds on this, but for now, we're just gonna set it into a server install. So let's get going on this. We'll start the clock as soon as I start typing. All I've done is boot it into the Arch installation media, set the font so you guys can read what's on the screen. And from here, we're gonna go and do bash, a little less than sign, and we're gonna curl dash L, and we're just gonna go christitus.com forward slash arch titus and if I did that right, it should go out, grab everything, install all the stuff, prompt us for what we want the user. We'll just set the passwords. We'll call this Arch Titus, and we're going to put it as a server, as this just gives us the base install. So we're going to just say yes to that. EXT4, set our time zone. And here is where I do a little bit of optimization during the install. Right here, it's actually calling the US mirrors to figure out what the absolute fastest mirror for me possibly is. This is going to eat up, you know, about 15 to 20 seconds of the install time, but I really like doing it just so we can get a quick download because we are downloading, a, I think, about a gig of uh, updated packages here. You can see we're a little over a minute into the install. It looks like it's already downloaded most of the base packages and it's just going through the installation. Now, if I had a little bit faster machine with a bunch of more threads and this one, a virtual machine, I bet we could get this down into probably like the 90 second marker for a full install. And customizations are almost finished. We are done. Uh, total instime was two minutes and seven seconds, a little bit slower than two minutes, but close. Uh, and if we just give it a reboot, you can see we have our nice and themed out Arch Linux uh, bootloader here. If you had Windows installed alongside this and you installed it on a secondary system, I have to warn you, it could wipe out the other stuff on your system, especially if there's already existing data on the drive you chose. So don't just do this all willy nilly because it will format drives automatically. And here we are. We are at our Arch Linux prompt. Um, let's just see, do we have, we don't have that. We don't have any AUR helpers. We do have Pac-Man of course. So we could just do a Neo fetch and we'll just do a Neo fetch. You can see we have Arch, roughly 189 packages installed alongside of Arch. Um, but you know, if you wanted to browse the web, you could do like uh, Pac-Man S W3M. So let's say you wanted to go check out ChrisTitus.com. You could browse here and then flip out and go through my the latest articles. Install Windows the Archway. What's that? Oh yeah, that's back when I did uh, the whole install of Windows, kind of using the Arch method. Uh, so this is kind of a neat uh, way of browsing the internet, and you don't really need a GUI. GUI is just bloat if you want to go true Arch method. But I kind of want some different terminus fonts. We'll go ahead and set our fonts to a little more readable style and then finish with a NeoFetch. Obviously, you can install whatever you want here. You can go with a full-blown KDE install if you wanted to go KDE from this. This is just a good way to give you all the base packages. And why I did it from a server methodology with Arch Titus is because I wanted to just have something I could play with really quickly and just spin up a, a Linux thing, test things out, and then just break it down whenever I want. Uh, because uh, at the end of the day, I really don't care what Linux distro I'm in, 
you know, the commands might change a little bit with the package manager, but for the most part, everything works pretty much the same way. So it gives me a little bit ways to, to spin up and spin down things quickly, but other things I wanted to expend on Arch Titus, this project, uh, I'll tell you about today's sponsor of the video, Milanote, but also kind of expand on uh, things I'm doing with this project. Milanote has a lot of different methods of organizing a project, which I think is really interesting. For many people who are familiar with other note taking things, this is just a web page you go to and you can collaborate with a ton of other people. So I have a little to-do list with this project for Arch Titus, minimizing code. That's one thing I already did so I could get the two minute install uh, and fix the server install. Also adding that one line command, so no more entering multiple commands. We also have the theming there, automatically prompted to switch to dark theme in case we don't want to burn out our retinas. Uh, you have subboards, so expansions I want to do. Most people know I love using DWM. As you can see, usually I have it going in the background, but I want to expand and get my version of KV, uh, DWM installed through Arch Titus. So I'm also created like a little subboard, and we can click into that and kind of go through and figure out all the to-do list I need over here. And if I had like collaborators, you could add in a comment section like this, and then they could comment back and forth about projects and, and things you're doing. Here's a couple different templates too of other things that I haven't gotten to yet in Milanote, but a bunch of different use cases for all kinds of note taking. Thank you Milanote for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to try it out, click on the link in the description. Also add in a KDE Rice, where KDE would be really good for a lot of the new users to Linux. And I wanted to make sure that they have that to where they could set the display easy because I know some people don't like the hard mode type things I have here. So that's kind of what the, the vision of Arch Titus is. It's more from this all-in-one script where you know the Arch, Arch Linux people have done a great job with like the Calamari's installer and they no longer need something like uh, Arch Titus anymore. It kind of got obsoleted by that, but I wanted to morph it into something that I want. So, and that's what I've done is I've started tweaking out Arch Titus. It's not quite done yet. I definitely want to fix some things, remove some options, streamline it to my versions of uh, Linux that I enjoy using DWM, using KDE, using uh, the things that I always use. So then if you want to match all my package installs one for one, this script would do it for you in minutes. So with that said, let me know anything else you'd like to see from me down in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one.